The cruise altitude needs to be set properly. The MCP altitude uh, initially will be the same. In order for VNAV to descend, you're gonna need to allow it to go down. So you're gonna need to set a lower altitude because what happens with this is that if you set, let's say you're, you're on an approach and you have the cruise altitude set to 5,000, the MCP altitude to 5,000, and then you push VNAP, the airplane, when it comes time to descend, it looks in two places. It's gonna to look to the MCP altitude, yeah. and it's gonna to look to the, to the um, altitude that's in the FMS, yeah. right? So it's gonna say, look, what, what, is, what, what, are the, uh, what does the FMS want me to do? It wants me to go down. What do the pilots want me to do? They want me to stay at 5,000 yeah. feet, because it checks the MCP. So if you don't right. lower it down later on, which we see oftentimes, it's not gonna go down. Once it does start down, all right, you go to progress page two, you get vertical deviation there, and also on the navigation display on the right side, you get a glide path indication, it's not a slope, get a glide path indication, and that's basically going to tell you uh, how far off you are, whether it be above or below. If you're in the 320, <clears throat> uh, it would be a little bit different. In the uh, MACDU. In the MACDU, in the multi-control display unit. That's it. In the MCDU. The thing about the 320 that's a little bit different is that, um, it has eight phases of flight. All right, we talk about this a little bit in the sim prep portion. It has eight phases of flight. The eight phases of flight, uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but basically yeah. here's the thing with them. They transition depending upon- Automatically. You know, yeah. right. You'll be in, you'll be in the pre-flight, then you'll transition to, to take off when you go to toga or flex. Yeah. Then when you get the acceleration altitude to go to climb. Fine. And if you're in Miami right now, Come see us. We're going to put you right in between us on the camera so you can be live streaming out with all of our audience out there.